I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Mama D explains her illness and why she ended up in a medical facility. Hello, you guys. Hello. Hello, you guys. Anybody up? And everybody's asleep. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm in the hospital. I can't tell you which hospital they uh, admitted me. You, as y'all know, a lot of stuff is going on with my son. And this is, y'all see? So, I'm going to show y'all the... This is my blood pressure. So, Mama D not doing so well, but I'll be fine. I'm a fighter. Okay? <clears throat> it's just sometimes with life, you... It's just too much. Sometimes stuff can be too much. You know, sometimes when, when God deliver you out of one evil, I don't understand why people will walk into another one. I just... I don't get it and I don't understand. I just, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired. When I was young, I fucked up. I did not listen to my mom or my dad. But when I bumped my head, I listened because I had a bump on my freaking head. I don't understand when someone makes mistakes, they just keep making them. I just, so all the stuff y'all been hearing, I don't know um, if that's true. Um, only time will tell. Um, I got my son back, I don't care. I don't care. But the chick that's uh, telling the story, I wonder who in the H told her to tell his story. At the end of the day, don't nobody know but him and her. None of that. But I know for me, Mama D, I've just, I can't take it. I can't take it. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I'm in the hospital. I really came from my blood pressure and my left hip had been hurting real, real bad because I got an artificial hip that I was in a head-on collision in 96. And the last hip surgery was 20 years ago, so that hip should have been replaced 10 years ago. <clears throat> so with the pain of that and then all these crazy stuff, it's just um, it's a bit much. A bit much, and I know I'm a very strong person, but I'm flesh and blood, and I'm human. I can't take all that, it's too much. It's too much. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for your prayers. So, they're trying to see, even I'm talking very good right now, they're trying to see if I had a light stroke. Oh, so far I've had one CT scan and two MRIs, right? Okay. I just, when I got admitted, my blood pressure is 202 over 108. It was 240. Yeah, it was 240 over 115. I can't take it, y'all. It's just too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. And I'm wondering 
why a certain young lady didn't reach out to me. Yeah, fill in the blanks. I know. And you know my crazy husband, Ernest, y'all, he going to say, oh, who would you call? Did you call who got called three minutes, four million, 30 seconds before the other person? Initially, let's be clear. I wasn't feeling good. I hadn't been feeling good for a couple of days. And I went to um, Remy. Um, baby shower in South Carolina, Columbia. Had a nice time. She looked so beautiful. Um, and stuff just started coming. Texas, people texting me, sending me this, sending me that. And I'm like, you know, so, you know, you, you just can't believe everything that you hear because people lie, people run off misinformation. But at the end of the day, you know, when I get a little better, you know, Mama D going to get down to it, don't you? Mama D is going to get to it. And I mean it. Hey, that doing blood pressure cup thing doing me again. Hold on a second, y'all. I got to be still because, you know, I talk with my hands. But, um... It's coming down a little. It keeps going up and down, up and down. Wish it make up his mind. Anywho, but say say prayers for my family. Y'all know I got my son back. Right, wrong, indifference. Right. So you know that game gonna never change. They'll never change. I holding up a flag for mine. You feel me? And in that order for real. So I just want to let y'all know I'm in the hospital and just a lot. It's too much. Too much. Too much. Love you guys. Bye bye. Tell the nurse to come in. Ask her. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.